so today we are going to be doing some painting and it's called tape resist painting so i'll go over what we need one of the things is right here canvas but i'll go over each of the materials um, and i'll show you an example of one that i've done before we hop in and get started so first of all you will need some sort of canvas. It doesn't have to be this size. It could be smaller, could be bigger. So any type of canvas, or if you have some thicker paper, that will work too for this project. So we wanna have our canvas, and then you will also definitely need some masking tape or some type of um, painter's tape. If you happen to have blue painter's tape, that will actually work really well. But if you have scotch masking tape, that, that will work okay too. Even if you have um, like skinny or washi tape, you could even use that. So just something that's a little bit thicker. So we have our canvas and we have our tape. And then a couple other things you might want to have with you if you would like to when we're using our tape in just a bit you might want to have scissors with you as well you'll see that um depending on how you bend the tape across the canvas and if you want a really clean edge at the end of your tape then it might be helpful to have scissors so we'll get into that a little more in a bit you are also going to want to have some sort of paint with you so today I have watercolor paints and because I'm using watercolor paints, awesome. I see some of us holding them up. Great. Because we're using, if you're using watercolor paints, hopefully you have nearby you or you can go grab a glass of water. Um, because if you have one paintbrush, you're going to be switching out your color every so often and you might need to clean off your brush and you need water for watercolor paints to get the right effect. If you have another type of paint too, like um, acrylic or tempera, that will also work. So watercolor just happens to be what I'm using today. And then besides having your, your cup of water and hopefully a paintbrush or two, one will, one will be fine though if you just have one. Um, as you are dipping your paintbrush into the water to clean it off in between, you might also want some paper towel. Up to you whether or not that's something you might need, but it could be helpful. So those are the main things that we need. Our canvas, our tape, our watercolors, and a paintbrush, and then um, a glass of water and paper towel if you'd like. So let's get into it. What we're going to do first, oh, I wanna show you the example before we start. So the concept of what we'll be doing, let me explain, is that we're gonna be using our tape to block off parts of our canvas and paint the white sections in between. When we take off the tape, depending on what kind of design you decide to make with your tape, you will have the white spaces in between where the tape was. So it gives kind of a cool effect. I chose this example that I did as kind of a geometric pattern, but you can do all kinds of things with your tape today. You could make shapes or section off to make like triangles or squares. You could make a word or write your name or initials. You could make a flower or some, so now we'll, we'll get started. I want to mention real quick too that depending on how much paint you use, you'll see it won't be quite perfect at the edges. If you have that blue painter's tape, it might be pretty close to having a really clean line, but it's okay if you get a little on the sides, no worries. I'll be scooting over here, so I'm under my dot cam. And you can decide whatever length you'd like to start with. And either rip it off or cut it with your scissors. I find that if you wrap, if you um, take a piece long enough that will go over the edge, you won't have to cut it. But if you 
have a piece that's a little shorter, you might want to cut the edge depending. So I'm going to start by just kind of placing mine right here in a random spot. I think what I'll be going for today is another type of geometric pattern. There's my first piece of tape. And then my next one, I might go a little bit longer. So you can kind of just play with it, be creative and make it up as you go. Or if you have a certain um, design in mind that you are wanting to make, then it might be a little trial and error to get the right amounts of tape that you need in order to create that. So I think I'm gonna put my next one right here and that will overlap on that piece of tape and it will go a little bit off the edge of the canvas, but that's okay because we're gonna be taking it off later after we paint our sections and um, once it's dried a bit. As you put your tape on, just make sure that you press it down pretty good so that there's no bubbles and it's, it's not popping up. But once you get to a point where you're thinking, okay, I like my design, then that's when you can start your painting. And depending on the type of paint that you have and the type of tape that you have, I will give um, some different recommendations. Just like I was showing with my example, it is likely that you're going to get a little bit of paint on the outside of, of the lines. But as you can tell, some of my other ones ended up pretty clean. Um, so if you're wanting more of a very clean line look, once we take the tape off towards the end, then I would recommend just painting within the white parts and not painting across or over the tape. If you have happen to have thicker tape or want to just go for it, you can certainly paint right over the tape across into your different sections. So it's really up to you. You can kind of experiment and see. But like I said, once you're, you're ready with your design, then you can have your paint nearby and get started with that. When you're selecting what paint to use, just some different ideas. You could go with a particular color scheme, like you could choose warmer colors and do several warmer colors, like a red, an orange, a yellow, some pinks, or you could go with cooler colors, like our blues and our greens and our purples. You can also try mixing a couple colors. If you wanna try that out and see where that takes you. So lots of different ways you can end up painting. Now, I'm going to try one with warmer colors. So, maybe I'll start off with an orange. And I'm gonna do my best just to paint in those white sections. But if I get a little bit on the edges of my tape, that really is okay, because we are going to peel it off towards the end. If you have watercolor paints, let me get my paints underneath so I can see. With watercolor paints, if you want it to look like a brighter, um, kind of thicker color, then don't use as much water. If you want more of a light 
a light color, then um, you can dip your brush in and use a little more water with the paint. Keep going. Let me just check for any questions. Okay. I'll also show another um, type of technique that I used in my example in a little bit. So I just added my orange into one section and I think I'm gonna do another layer, add a little more just to get it a little bit brighter. There we go. Sometimes it takes a couple layers of paint, especially with the watercolors. If you're wanting wanting a section to look a bit darker or brighter. There we go. That's what you're gonna keep doing basically. Once you've got your design laid down, you're just gonna go to your different sections or paint in your white spaces. And with watercolor paints, it won't, it won't take too long to dry. before we take off our tape in a bit. And if you're using watercolors, we should be okay for the most part um, to take off the tape shortly after we finish filling in the sections with the paint. Just start with one piece and I would kind of hold your canvas if you're able to with the other hand. And you're gently gonna peel up and just be kind of be ready for anything because take a look at mine. It's not quite perfect. Part of it looks pretty clean, but some of it faded in the middle and that's okay. Once you've peeled your tape off, you can just kind of start a little a little pile off to the side and eventually you'll throw that away. So just take each piece one by one and carefully peel it up and it's slowly going to start to reveal your finished product. If you kind of overlapped your tape, just be really gentle with it as you peel one off of the other, if that's the case. You have a little bit of that that happened on my canvas where one piece of tape ended on top of the other, but that's okay. All right. It's pretty satisfying and exciting to just see it all come together.
go. So there's how mine turned out. And as you finish yours, you can hold yours up for us or let us know that you did it. And then all that icky tape you can just toss into the garbage at the end. Mm -hmm.